Y'all know me. I'm not one of those Ravens fans that's like, oh, every single thing that they do, I agree with it. Every single move that they make is great. Now, y'all know I'm not like that. Um, if I like something, I'll let you know. If I dislike something, I'll let you know. Uh, but we try to make sure that we let you know respectfully uh, and we handle everything that we do on this channel uh, with respect. Because obviously nothing is ever personal against anybody who we, we mention, what we talk about, any of that stuff. Um, so with Eric DaCosta, he is the Ravens GM, um, and he is responsible for assembling the roster that we see on a week to week basis from our favorite football team. Uh, and if you, if, if you're watching this and you're not a Ravens fan, you're soon to be favorite football team or a team that you just want to keep up with, which is fine. I still love you. Um, but with the Roquan Smith trade, um, I felt like that was a really, really good move. Um, by Eric DaCosta. It was a good trade. He only gave up, he gave up a second round pick and a fifth round pick uh, and A.J. Klein uh, to inherit Roquan Smith. First round talent, first round pick, uh, one of the best linebackers in the game, and he has obviously made an immediate impact uh, with the Baltimore Ravens, as we saw uh, against the New Orleans Saints. And we'll see. I mean, he's been playing in Chicago for the past, well, four years. So him playing in cold weather in Baltimore this Sunday against the Panthers, that shouldn't be noth nothing for him, especially with how w it's, it's not even just cold in Chicago. It gets windy and cold, so it can be even colder. So this is going to be like summertime for him this Sunday. Um, but anyway, um. Another bonus, like not even a bonus, but just something else that showed like how good of a trade it was uh, for the Baltimore Ravens was the fact that like the Chicago Bears are pay they paying like 95 percent of Roquan Smith's salary uh, for this year. So the Ravens have him and I know it's just half the season, but still they got him for super, super, super cheap. He is on a very cheap deal. Now, obviously, the Bears, they, they got rid of him because they were like, we ain't about to re-sign him. <laughs> no thanks. Y'all can have him. And the Ravens were like, oh, yeah, we'll gladly take him because you know we're going to re-sign him. Um, and we'll see what happens with that contract this, this offseason. I think everybody expects it to, to definitely get done. Um, but I saw I, I, my guy, uh, Tyler G, he hit me up on Twitter and he was like, look at this. And I, I looked and I said, oh, wow. And I saw that A.J. Klein, he got released from the Chicago Bears. And I was like, wow. And, and right when I saw that, I was thinking like, man, this like, to me, it, it really made ADC look like even more of a genius for this trade. It really did. And the reason I say that is because was A.J. Klein this amazing NFL player, whatnot. Well, he obviously is good enough. He's been playing for a while. Um, but with A.J. Klein, I, I wonder, first off, I wonder how long the, the Ravens were talking to the Bears about Roquan Smith for. Um, and I wonder, with him being a part of the trade package, was he like the cherry on top? I, I think about that a little bit at the time because it's like, all right, they offered a second and a fifth. Uh, were the Bears like hesitant or whatnot? Were the Bears like, uh, I, we don't know about all that. So they were like, you know what, AJ Klein. And then the Bears were like, okay, let's go. Was he something that really pushed the deal over the top? Because if so, even if not so, but he, he was still a part of the trade package. So whether he was what pushed it over the top or not, he was part of the package. But for them to trade somebody to the Chicago Bears... And for the Bears to still be paying such a large amount of Roquan Smith's salary. And then for that player who was included in the trade to be released. It's like, wow. That, that's a, a great move by Eric DeCosta. And of course, again, he did give up the second and the fifth round pick. And the Bears, they were thinking about the future and whatnot. So that's fine. But I just, um, it made me love the move uh, that much more. It, it, it really did. Uh, and it, I know it's something just like it, it's super simple, but it's still big in my eyes because you were able to you they just signed AJ Klein like maybe like a month and change about a month ago. They signed AJ Klein. Um, then they had him on the roster and whatnot. And then really uh, where we really saw AJ Klein first, we saw him in. I forget which game it was, and I was I thought that he was going to be cut 
after this game. I forgot what game it was, but it was a game where AJ Klein, he made a, a silly, a really silly uh, mistake on special teams that cost the Ravens 15 yards. And I was thinking, I, f- I forget which game it was. I know one of y'all will remember much better than I will. But I remember thinking when I saw that play, I was like, oh, he's out of here. He is, he is probably going to be gone. He's probably going to be cut because that's a special teams play. Uh, Ravens got a special teams coach in John Harbaugh. You know, he don't play about no special teams. And it ain't like A.J. Klein got like this lot. He locked down his spot on the roster, anything like that. Um, but he they didn't cut him. So, again, thinking about that, it makes this move look even better. But they didn't cut him. So then a couple of weeks later in the Bucks game, in the Bucks game, he was on display. And there was this one drive where he made play after play. I think it was just two plays, but it was really nice plays, really nice tackles in the backfield. Um, and that changed that Bucks drive because they were moving the ball. But I'm pretty sure that they ended up having to settle for a field goal on that drive. Um, I don't remember for sure, but he made those two plays. So it was like, man, this dude got put on display showing like, hey, he can still make some stuff happen. And then like a week later, he gets traded to the Bears and is part of this Roquan Smith deal. So, again, looking back at it, actually not even looking back at it. Initially, when we first found out about the, the details of the trade, I thought, wow, good move, Re- really good move, especially for what, what you're getting and who you're getting. Um, and then uh, a week later, when we got to finally see him play, it was like, oh, wow, this is, yeah. Oh, I'm with this all day, man. And then, and then another week later, with the, the Bears releasing somebody who was part of the trade, it's like, wow, that just makes it look that much better. But that was it, man. I just um, I had to share that with y'all because I really appreciated that, man. I, and, and, and like I always say, I, I tell people this all the time. I love, I absolutely love the, um, I love the game, the actual game of football. Uh, with the, when they play on Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays. And remember last year when they played on Wednesday. And then, but yeah, I love the game of football itself. But I also, just as much as I love the game of football, I love the game within the game. I love the business side. I love the the trades, the signings, the cuts, the hirings, the firings, the speculation on wonder where this player is going to go. That player is going to go. This coach is going to go. That coach is going to go. Which coach is going to stay? Which coach is going to leave? Is somebody going to retire? This, that. I I love all of that. I love it. Um, That's why the offseason is just as much fun for the end season for me. Uh, Because a lot of those moves are made. A lot of those business moves are made. Uh, so I just really appreciated this business move uh, from Eric DaCosta. This was a, definitely a deal where both sides, both sides definitely uh, benefited. Bears get to help build for the future, getting that second and the fifth round pick from the Ravens. Hopefully, that pick ends up being 32. It'd be nice if those picks end up being 32. We'll see. Um, but so they get to build for the future. But then with the Ravens, uh, it gives them an immediate impact player. Somebody right away, right away, uh, that made a big difference. And hopefully they will continue uh, to make a big difference. So shout out to Roquan Smith. But yeah, man, I just had to give uh, give EDC his props again uh, for this trade because it's like they're still, they're obviously still benefited from it. But the Bears, with them releasing AJ Klein, it just, it made it look that much better. So team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, shout out to EDC for this one. And just like AJ Klein is with the Bears uh, and Roquan Smith, I mean, he was with the Bears like two years. I mean, it was two weeks ago. But just like AJ Klein is after being released, I'm out.